Liverpool have restored Jamie Redknapp to their starting lineup in midfield. And Mark Walters, they replace Thomas and Bjornaby, probably meaning that it's also they'll not have the three centre backs. Phil Babb will play either at left back or wing back, as they call them these days. Palace, meanwhile, without two key players, a leading striker Chris Armstrong, who's suspended, midfielder Ricky Newman, an ankle injury. Palace manager Alan Smith decided to play three at the back and five in the midfield. And away we go then, with the Palace in the yellow strip attacking the goal to our right. Up to Priest. Touch for Rush. Jamie Redknapp. This is Rob Jones. Palace getting the ball away into touch for a throw. Wembley then, 180 minutes away, the referee Robbie Hart of Darlington. Place in Europe, of course, beckoning beyond that. John Barnes ball given away there. Salako quickly onto it. Here's Damian Matthew. And it just came off Relic's head for a corner now for Crystal Palace. I think that incident there, the uh, forced error by uh, John Barnes, emphasises what Palace are going to do tonight. They're going to crowd, hustle and flood midfield. A damage limitation exercise in this away leg. Not the way that time by uh, Phil Babb. Barnes getting in there as well. Here's Darren Pitcher with a long-range shot charged down there by Babb. Humphrey playing it wide to the Palace captain, Gareth Southgate. Of Southgate. Hard in a way, really, to know quite where to pitch the prospects for this cup semi final. Liverpool, remember, demolished Crystal Palace 6 1 on the opening day of the season down at Sellers Park. And Palace came here in December and got a very good goalish draw. My goodness, that result would suit them tonight. I think what they'd like to do, Palace, very much is to pen Liverpool in their own half of the field, not let people like Matt Manaman particularly get a run. Uh, it looks very much as if Darren Pitch is going to be given the responsibility of making sure that uh, Matt Manaman doesn't pick up the, the balls in that little free position he occupies and run at uh, defenders. Good jump there by uh, Patterson. Patterson, in fact, is playing in the centre of the middle three at the back for Crystal Palace playing at right back, Richard Shaw playing on the right of their back three. Yes, Alan Smith, the Palace manager, was telling me uh, this morning the one they've got to stop is McManaman and that Pitcher would be the man given that responsibility. They're frightened of his devastating runs from midfield. Here's Humphrey. And another. In goes Matthew again. Big John Scales. Pitcher jumping there against McManaman. Scales again, who scored against Queen's Park Rangers on uh, Saturday. Bob Jones plays it inside. It's Jamie Redknapp to John Barnes. Bad. Walter stopped by Humphrey. And Matthew again banging the ball clear for Crystal Palace. Both sides defend well. Even with six conceded on the opening day, Crystal Palace still have a defensive record that I fancy would put them somewhere in the top six in the Premiership. Both sides, though, of late, been very shy about scoring. So I think we can look forward, Ron, to a really tough, tense cup tie night with a lot of skill about it. Here's McManaman, and pitcher you can see right at his back. Liverpool will have tremendous respect for him. Matthew, getting it wide on the far side, Dean Gordon. And Mark Walters, tucking in on the left of the Liverpool defence. Going to be some very, very interesting tactical battles in there. I mean, Walters has got more or less a very re defensive responsibility, he's expected to get up and down the left-hand side but also to defend when Humphrey tries to force the issue from a full-back position. 
Touch on by Rob Jones. Southgate. Up to Andy Priest. Humphrey. You'll have to be quick. That's Rush's trademark. Not only scoring goals, but getting into that sort of position and dispossessing men when they think they've got time. Pitcher on the far side getting it away. Well, that emphasises it, Bryony. Many, many times it's been said about Ian Rush, he's probably the best defender in the forward positions. Absolutely right. Up to Priest. Down the line, there's nobody much in a yellow shirt there. Solarco's trying to make up ground, but... Uh, I think David James gets it clear. Scales versus Priest. Priest forcing them through again to Matthew. Certainly seeing plenty of work, and Solarco offside disputing that with the linesman, there's no point in that. There is no point because he was offside. Absolutely. And unnecessary so actually because John Solarco, in a good position, looking along the line, could have just held his run a little bit. But I think you've seen there as well, Palace are prepared to throw the ball over the back of the Liverpool defenders, knowing full well that both Priest and particularly Solarco have got good pace. Fowler's done well, he's got the ball through to McManaman. Allison did well also. Gets it to Southgate. Southgate with Priest head down, charging, but bad is in command here. Bounce back pass and Solarco, and he's taken it too wide. But there was a wonderful chance just for a moment there with Babs' mistake and Solarco pouncing on it. And usually his control is so good. This was a devastating poor Yeah, he's pass. read the script there. It's a bad back pass from uh, Bab. There, all of a sudden, he's done quite well without diving at his feet there as, as the goalkeeper James, but. Once he gets here, Solarco really ought to have scored. Composure's first touch isn't that bad, then overruns it, because even, even though he's a left... Not shouting that he wants him to keep the ball wide and to keep it away from Ruddock. James with the clearance. Coleman. Here's McManaman. the goal scorers this season but he uh, met that one uh, with a very healthy strike good intelligence from Matt Manaman here he goes pushes the defender back shapes for a cross typical Liverpool fashion cuts it to the edge of the box they don't over cross the ball and never have done Liverpool and he wasn't a million miles away from that was Rob Jones Alice themselves do represent a threat both in Salico and Priest Just two goals to equal Jeff Hurst's record of 49 goals in this League Cup competition. Four winners' medals to his credit, too, back in 81, 82, 83, and 84, when Liverpool won four on the bounce at Wembley. No red maps available to the right, but it's Ruddock playing it now for Walters, who in anything is a little bit back on his heels. Humphrey wasn't. That pulled us. There's a shot deflected off pitcher. Another corner. More pressure. More problems. And Palace with nine back in their penalty area. I also think Mark Walters, if you're playing against him on this side of the field, on the left hand side, you're better to try and push him on the outside. Relican scales there again, making a dive towards the near post. It might come for Barnes. In the end, it's Matthew who gets it away to Priest, but he hits it straight at Bab. Foul on the free kick again to Liverpool. Foul on Redknapp by Solarco. I'm a little bit surprised that Liverpool once or twice trying those uh, short, intricate free kicks from areas where they could lead the ball in, because for a long, long time Liverpool never had the artillery they've got now. Sort of the Ruddocks, the scales. Barnes is excellent in the air. Rush. No, it's, I would have thought it was well worth them sticking a few in there at this, you know, early doors. Here's McManaman, and now Rob Jones, the fullback, played in nicely for Redknapp, just wide. There was a great chance there. Well, that's, that's an absolute dolly miss by young Jamie Redknapp. 
beautiful build-up, nice little ball inside here from McManaman, here to Jones, ever ready to step forward, gets a little runner, diag great diagonal run from Redknapp, should really put them in the lead. Halfway through the first half, Salako knocking that one in for the head of Kreese. And here's Bad. Taking it away from Humphrey. And now Humphrey's got to get back and challenge Walters. Barnes. And Bad. Fowler. And Walters. Oh, he's gone past to Humphrey. Played it in. Wasn't the best of crosses, and uh, Nigel Martin was very alert. I think, in all fairness, Brian, I think that Mark Walters will have thought, go on, Fowler, go on, Ian Rush. He's teased that into a danger zone, you know, and the, what's happening is nobody really attacked the near post. Yes. Here's Mark Walters. Swift challenge, a sure challenge by Shaw. Another Liverpool corner. John Humphrey is going to get a yellow card for dissent. That was all so very unnecessary, I would uh, imagine. They are stupid yellow cards. There's no point in arguing. You know what's going to happen. Just store up trouble for yourselves. That's a back heel by Rush. What oh, a lovely tip over by Nigel Martin. That's a great recovery save because Nigel Martin gets himself into all sorts of problems on the original ball. He's, he'd actually started to come for the cross, and he's had to make good ground. That's a, that's a remarkable, as I say, recovery save. Thought he made an error in judgment of coming, trying to come for the cross, but obviously in windy conditions like this is going to be very difficult to judge. Here comes another corner, more problems. Shaw sure got that away. Or rather, pitcher. Raddock in there. An overhead kick. Coleman gets that one clear. Played in again, Matthew helping out, comes to McManaman for Liverpool. Barnes, and now Walters. Oh, he's taking it through the legs of Humphrey this time, he's having a real tough time of it. This time, it's a goal kick. Having a stormy night, John Humphrey, he's finding... Uh, Mark Walters so elusive and he's got a yellow card already. Two defenders with yellow cards like Coleman who's trying to stay right against the back of uh, Ian Rush. Now Humphreys against Walters. They've, they've already lost the psychological battle. They know they can't really afford to make one misjudged challenge now. Through the legs it goes. Southgate, the long ball now for Salako. Counter punch perhaps from Crystal Palace. Salako onto that left foot, could be a problem here. Oh my goodness, it went off the crossbar and across the face of the goal from Gordon. And Palace could so easily in the last seconds of the first half gone in in the lead. That's got the Liverpool crowd roaring. McManaman. I don't think could have's the word, Brian. I think they should have done. Desperately unlucky with Salako's first effort. But Dean Gordon will be horrified by the miss he's had. McManaman. Cross there, Rush almost got in, but some excellent defending by Richard Shaw. Another throw for Liverpool. Salako, the deflection was a wicked one, and it uh, rattled against the Liverpool crossbar. As the whistle goes for half-time. Here we are, there was the deflection. James had given it up. Dean Gordon comes in, the goal it seemed at his mercy, and Liverpool escape. I Go must admit, when he, when he hit the bar and came off to uh, Dean Gordon, I thought, well, that's just a nod in. Go on, put that one in. But full marks to Salako, they're great running across the line. A little bit concerned about the way he took Ruddock on, though, took him off his, came on side, on his weak side. Right, there was a dramatic finish to the end of the first half, nil-nil, the situation then here at Anfield. So 
what do you foresee now in the second half? Ron, what are you looking for now? Well, I think that uh, I'd like to see uh, Crystal Palace, as I say, they've defended in numbers, they've locked things off. I'd like to see them try and get just a little bit more support up to the front too. I think they could give, I mean, they run the risk of uh, opening up space for the Liverpool creative players, but they, do, they would give themselves a better chance of winning the game. Although, the scoreline, if it stays like this, will more than satisfy the Palace contingent. Well, here we go then for the start of the second half. Ruddock heading it down to McManaman. Don't have to tell you that Darren Pish is right on his tail. It's Dean Gordon. Up to Southgate. Some hustling going on there this time by Liverpool. Redknapp getting in very quickly. Ruddock playing it wide to McManaman. Down in front of the cop. Now we'll see to a course. I think he's looked right dangerous when he's gone onto this right wing and played in the position he more or less first came into the team. In fact, they've looked very dangerous down both flanks, haven't they? Walters has been inspired tonight against uh, John Humphrey. John Scales well it's a good quality ball and we've talked about his defensive deficiency but he can deliver a good ball Humphreys and as you say got first run across the defender John Scales flat-footed there really once again and maybe a better situation than the one in Russia that the minutes will be dragging for that bench you can be sure here's bad Walters versus Humphrey got in quickly. Solarco just nicking that on for Priest. Priest doing the sensible thing of playing it back to John Solarco. The yellow shirts are coming up fast. Southgate amongst them. And that was a poor ball in. And really it gives Liverpool the chance on the break now. Rush with Fowler up there, with McManaman up there, and with Redknapp in there. Here's Redknapp. Playing off the defender, Patterson for the corner. Pannis had suddenly pushed everybody up there and the ball in from uh, Solarco just wasn't good enough. Here's the corner. Lovett leaping for this one. Walters on the far side. Fowler couldn't get onto it. But Manaman can't get onto it. And Redknapp, he'll dink another little cross in. He does. Lovett was racing in there, but couldn't get a touch. I and think full marks to Humphreys there. He just did enough to steer Big Razor Ruddock from getting a clear header on that one. It's a lovely inviting ball from Jamie Redknapp. He shaped this one in lovely, and I bet Ruddock's thinking, oh, go on, go on, I'm in on this one. And you've just gone out of picture, but Humphreys has just put his body in enough to prevent Ruddock getting a full header on it. Good spell, this for Liverpool. Yeah, they're turning the screw a little bit at the moment. Here's McManaman, getting the better of Pitcher. Oh, getting the better of them all, but Pitcher's coming back for some more. Martin can't get there, and in the end, it was Shaw who knocked it away. Jones will keep it back in there. Robbie Fowler, and Shaw again who gets it clear, but uh, bad with that header. Matthew with the header, but didn't really get a touch on it. Redknapp being pursued by Southgate. Barnes then going round at Matthew. Still with Barnes. Getting it wide for McManaman. Driven across the face of the goal. And Rush can't quite get in the end of it, but he got another corner. Unrelenting pressure now from Liverpool. Yes, there's going to have to be an awful lot of mental strength now. They've shown a good commitment, Palace, but now is the, t the real testing time. Here comes the corner. Just listen to the cop. Scales is poised, Ruddock is poised with a header, but it was a poor one by Ruddock. Goal kick. Here 
was a scramble we had just a moment or two ago. Barnes coming in. McManaman. Came off Coleman. And a bad day, you know, Brian, when things are going against you, that deflects into its own net, doesn't it? That's For anybody, really, at the moment, it's being played now at an increasingly furious pace. And you can hear the cop. Liverpool fans around the ground, attack, 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 attack. Oh, that's just what McManaman's doing now. Palace back pedalling again, Pitcher's going with him, but he gets a great cross in there, Rush went up for that one, but he's gone away for the goal kick. Oh, that's brilliant wing play by McManaman. Picked up the ball, took it right, oh, right to the dead ball and whipped in a glorious cross. That's a, that's a glorious cross, look at that. Rossi just can't meet his square on. They kept Shaw at the back, Pitcher at the back, and Humphrey at the back. Only to go mad pushing too many people forward. 11 Liverpool corners and four for Paris. And James, a good safe catch. And a good throw. Sending a long stride of full back down into the Paris half of the field. Here's Walters, cutting inside this time. Faced by Matthew, still with back. Look for a good cross here. Ah! Down and over by Jamie Redknapp. So a free kick, or rather a goal kick to Crystal Palace. He is going up and over. Southgate, Solarco in behind them. It's a shot, and James down. When he drifts down that inside right channel and cuts back on his on his on his favourite left foot. Ah, oh, for defenders to pick him off when he drives inside, and almost catches the keeper by surprise. Actually, he thinks he was going wide. Surprised me that. I thought he was, uh, I thought he was well on target. Walters. Bam. Oh, confounding it in behind him here. Good save by Martin. Well, the keepers brought into action at both ends. Fowler in behind the defence there. That's a great save. Excellent save. Because he hasn't done much wrong there, Fowler. And a corner then for Liverpool. Mark Walters will take it. Good work by Nigel Martin. And more to be done, you fancy. Looking in there towards Scales. A good fist away by Martin. Walters again. Fowler's touch. And another good save by Martin. That time from Jamie Redman. Well, three excellent piece of goalkeeping that there by the big Cornishman, 28-year-old Nigel Martin. Yeah, where he's done well on this one, he could have made up his mind to go away, to go one way and be beaten by the deflection. It's been a bit of a luxury if, so, if anybody's had time to dwell on the ball. Matthew in for Solarco, run right across his back nicely at his feet, cuts inside again, there's his cross, Scales had to be there to get that one away, Matthew with a shot, good save again by James, this is a good cup tie. The pendulum swings and it keeps thinking, all right, Liverpool are starting to bust the game, they're in control, they're starting to grow and all of a sudden, three or four lightning counter-attacks from the Palace, and you're beginning to wonder which side will what to do now, the game goes on longer. <laughs> Don't tell me yet, but have you thought about it? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, Rush, and now it's Jones. Quickly challenged by Gordon, the free kick though. For the, the challenge by Gordon on uh, Rob Jones. Well, it's these sort of situations now that Liverpool have got to make count. 
Palace are pulled now. Everybody except Solarko back behind the ball. Redknapp is the one who will tease it in there, and he's done just that. Oh, just over the top from uh, Scales. I think it was Patterson who completely missed uh, his header. I think that was the thing that put uh, Scales off. I don't think for a minute he thought he was coming through the grab. I mean, it's actually caught him on the shoulder, Scales. But, I mean, they do have the artillery. I just think they're a bit close in the... Um, he, he tries to sneak around the back there, Scales. But I actually do think the Liverpool attacking players, and by that I mean the Rurik's are, are a little bit close on the kicker. I think they should be starting to run a little bit wider. Because I don't think many defenders would fancy the side of Ruddock, of Scales, and the likes of that pounding in at them. Palace player John Humphrey is down, the referee thinks he's play-acting and the game goes on. Walters. Brad plays it in. Palace get it away, but only as far as Jamie Ridner. Humphrey is up again, trying to get back, hobbling McManaman. And Dean Gordon gets that away. So first half Walters did exceptionally well, but it's a tosser for me in the course of the game between the threat of McManaman. But I think Solako's had a great game. Solako. Solako, he's running selfishly, he's shown a lot of skill. He's I mean I've never seen him sort of put himself or involve himself in a game so much as this. I mean he's, he's probably come well he has definitely come the closest to scoring at the time we're going to press. Time we're going to press with that uh... Shot against the crossbar right on half-time. But here come Liverpool. They're still looking for that lead to take to the second leg. A shot by Mark Walters. Eight That's what I don't think you can let Walters do. You can push him infield, round about the halfway line areas, and just push him across your midfield. But in the last third of the field, I think you've got to edge him out. He loves that cutting in and it's letting things rip off his right foot. Solaka with the header for Priest. Priest getting it back now for Humphrey. Played down the line and says to Liverpool, right, you go and get that one and you've got to get it back into our half. And time is running out quickly now, as you can see. We're in the last half minute. There'll be a little bit of time to add on, but not a lot. I mean, it doesn't half, whatever the scoreline is now, it doesn't half up to a second the semi-final, doesn't it? The second leg. Yes, yeah, so that's next Wednesday night. That should be another... Very, very tense occasion in South London. But Palace have had such a good record in the Coca-Cola Cup this season. Victories against Lincoln, against Wimbledon, against Villa the Holders and Manchester City. But here scales. Liverpool still searching for that goal. McManaman. I think Pitcher will have McManaman in his nightmares for a week or two after this. throw to Palace time added on can't be a lot of it Priest holding off Bab and doing it very well Pitcher at last with a bit of space of his own playing it down the line for Dean Gordon and here come Liverpool again Last seconds. It's with scales. Palace fans are whistling. They're trying to get that final whistle blown. Jones to rush. It just can't get in there. And in the end, quick thinking and quick feet of Nigel Martin. He's probably entitled to feel that as well, isn't he? 
wasn't an intended back pass but that's the dilemma goalkeepers face they have to make an instant decision couldn't be sure whether that would have been construed by the referee as a back pass and he just <laughs> couldn't take a chance at this stage of the game Ruddock scales referee looking at both linesmen played nearly two minutes of time added on Fowler getting it down the line McManaman having one last burst down that flank and it's across the goal there and it's in by Fowler two minutes of time added on and all Palace's brave defending in the end comes to nothing McManaman the architect again has yeah, been the threat to be all night the threat's been on there all along they've tried this move a dozen times where Jones just lost it over the back over the defender quality balling Rush just sits across it and there's Fowler a natural predator and that's with over two minutes of time added on something the cop and Liverpool fans have been waiting for all night the ball nestling in the back of the Crystal Palace net it's tough on Palace who've defended with such resolution for so long what a cruel game it is sometimes but there's still a second leg to be played Nigel Martin now hitting it long Chris Brian they've got to pick themselves up draw breath and say all right if it's one nothing, it's one nothing. That's not a disaster for them. Certainly mustn't do anything stupid or take serious chances now. They've got to just keep really tight. There can't be more than a few seconds left. Southgate going in there. And he spotted uh, Humphrey on the far side. Good ball. Referee looking at the watch. The cross coming in towards Greece. Matthew. Goes, a dramatic finish to the first leg of this Coca-Cola Cup semi-final. Robbie Fowler with two minutes of injury time played at the end of 90 minutes after Palace had defended so well for so long and had threatened once or twice in their own right. It's Fowler who makes it 1-0 and who really sets up a fantastic second leg down at Sellers Park a week tonight. Terrific goalkeeping by Nigel Martin, beaten at the last by Robbie Fowler. And 1-0 to Liverpool is the story at Anfield tonight.